Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the X-Horse Global channel. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be quickly going over our weekly Ethereum analysis and we won't be going too deep into the alternatives as we still want to stick to the trend until some form of major invalidation occurs, at least within the shorter time frames. Now, without any further ado, as you can see here, the only real way we can count this overall macro structure to keep this bullish momentum intact is to continue the series of 1-2 structures um, that can help us put, pretty much bring us up to the 7K levels. And right now, we are in what we can be seeing as a primary wave 3 being extended, and we really have to get out of here soon as we are working in a pretty tight wiggle room to play with as we start to get to the smaller degrees especially within this intermediate degree we are starting to see a little bit of uncomfort because we are seeing some kind of larger consolidation occurring that can bring us into a possible different outcome um, possibly into the bearish outcome as well so ideally you want to have these nested structures or internal impulse counts as tight as possible on the macro side without ruining the overall parabolic or channeling look of the larger degrees. As we start to consolidate longer, we essentially have to start thinking of what kind of bearish alternative might be in store for us. But for now, like I have said, we still have most of our internal accounts intact and no major invalidation has occurred. So how would we count this nested structure of 1-2s? We have this 1-2 here. We have this 1-2 here. Now, this originally was not the best looking count, but due to this move here, it is giving us a little bit more confidence and we can still work with that narrative that we're working in a larger primary wave 3 extension. We originally had this as some kind of diagonal idea where we had this as a 3s and then we were looking for a 1-2 of some sort that would have been a lot better to give us a more confident looking possible impulse to the upside. Now for this we do have to work with what we have and due to this move here this has given us a higher percentage and probability that we are still continuing to the upside. So what we're looking for in validation is this wave one here if we're counting this as a share of one two or if we're counting this as a sideways one two and we're extending it I would put it here but for now I have it labeled here as a one two here as a sharp move because it just gives me a little bit more risk or reward management in terms of what we can expect for this possible ABC being completed for this wave 3, 4. And if this level breaks, at that point, you still want to assume that we're in some kind of different alternative count. And if you really want to push it, you can put your labeling here for that invalidation. But again, it doesn't really matter because it's so close to invalidation anyways. So as long as we hold this level here, then ideally we want to be not even breaking this line here and we really don't want to be breaking this line as we don't want to break major invalidation so if we pull up into the shorter time frames what we can see here is again we're working for that abc of that minor degree to complete that wave three four of the intermediate degree and we do have a pretty clean looking abc to the downside right if we do look into that we do have a five wave move impulse here. We have another A, B, C, or W, X, Y. Actually, it's a W, X, Y because this is a three wave move. And then we have a five wave move down into wave C that completes our minor degree of wave four. Now, this move here is a quite tricky one. We originally wanted to say that this was a one, two because we had another clean ABC looking move here. However, due to these strong overlaps, just like what we saw for the larger nested structure, we're seeing kind of a similar idea that this might be some kind of leading diagonal. Now, if this is a leading diagonal, I am thinking that with this slight overshoot, this is going to be that wave one, and we're looking for some kind of ABC pullback. Now, this doesn't look like the ABC, of course, so we wanna be assuming that we're gonna be going for another one, two to the downside, before we actually start rocketing out of here and then we look for higher levels of some sort. Now wave one, two, of course, it's very tricky. We don't know the actual corrective pattern, but this move down does look impulsive and it looks like that is the beginning of our A wave. And then we are looking for some kind of three wave pullback to complete this move and we don't want to be breaking this level here to not invalidate this one two in the making as we are speaking now this is what we wanted to see on the macro but again now we're seeing it on the micro so this is still giving me confidence that this might be some kind of diagonal going into wave one and again we're looking for a wave two pullback to continue ourselves up into these regions to complete that intermediate degree wave five and that again ladies and gentlemen will complete our overall look on how this is going to be seen as the continuation of this larger nested structure of this primary wave three being extended and 
without really um, going too detailed into the guidelines and rules, um, ideally in terms of Fibonacci extensions and the Fibonacci ratios of these wavelengths, since wave one of this intermediate degree and this wave three um, is equal in length or more or less similar in length, we are also possibly extending this as a wave five extension but again, we want to be rational here. But due to these being quite similar in length, we want to say that this wave three might be extended. Now, if we're saying that wave three or wave one is longer than this wave three, then we want to essentially force ourselves to say that wave five is going to be shorter because we can, wave three cannot be the shortest wave. So depending on where you have these wavelengths, we are going to be irrational here and say that wave five is going to be ending here just due to the fact that we have that possibility of that one, two being built on the shorter time frames. So hopefully that was helpful, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to keep this a little bit short. If you're wanting to see a little bit more detailed analysis and possibly get a quicker update on the alternative ideas, please do not hesitate to reach out to me on Discord or Telegram. The, dis the link is in the description below if you want to join the X-Force Global Discord membership. And again, if you're not following me on social media, I do a lot more updates on there on the daily at X, formerly known as Twitter, at X-Force Global. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.